Good morning guys, it's the 24th of May, I'm Henry Green from London Trading Group and once more I'm going to run through what I'm looking for in the markets for today. So that past angle that we kind of drew yesterday in Eurodollar, uh, it did break but I think it was probably just a false break as you can see uh, and now we potentially are just still holding. On the day it does look like it wants to, it's just another indecision bar um, but we have failed to close back above 112.20 which I do see as a really good level of resistance so uh, I do think that this has another push down, 111.60 is still my target. I do like it to blip through to there, but certainly once 1160 has been hit, I'm not going to look for any more uh, downside momentum because I do think that, that is a really good level for it to hold at. It just looks heavy and I think we probably get a similar move to this. Um, and if we just take this distance in this break, I'll just replicate it from here. Yeah, we're sort of back down towards 1160. So I think 111.60 is quite a good zone to be looking for in euro dollar uh, and one that I'll certainly be looking to trade it down to. Cable, again, just an indecision bar. We didn't really test that 144.30 level, but I would expect us to go down and probably test that today. Such a uh, choppy market yesterday in cable. Uh, we kind of went through the highs, through the lows, and back through the highs, and back through the lows again. So it's just really, really difficult to play. Um, I mean, without having taken a stop out, unless you're kind of just taking the initial move and getting out. So at the moment, cable, uh, we ran down to its 127. We pulled, so that's just the first target hit, and now this looks like perfect for a continuation move down to 143. 90 so i think that's a, that could be a good trade as well you've had that first push and now we're looking for that second move often they'll move in the, these you have a first push down to 127 hold then pull back and then we go again so i think cable looks really really prime uh, for a short today i do really like the way that that's that chart's kind of been drawn so let's have a look at that one the 15 minute chart what we're we looking at uh it's made a lower high here so equivalently this is a sell now uh, in cable you could look for a pullback into the moving averages and then be selling it but certainly uh, I do like cable short and maybe an initial one here with a stop sort of behind 145 or behind the, maybe the 50 moving average so behind 145.05. What did it hold on yesterday actually when it pulled back? Let's have a look at that. Yeah, it held on the 50 when it pulled back. So maybe put it behind, maybe trail behind, give it 145.05 plus 10 or plus 20. I think that's probably quite an easy trading cable all the way down to the lows of 143.90. Uh, Dolly Yen. Dolly end pull back perfectly, hit the D down here. So this is the next D hit in Dolly end. This one got thumped overnight, actually, and this one does look prime to the downside. So that means that probably we're going to be looking at yen crosses for potential strength. I think Dolly yen has still got some uh, more room to the downside, especially after yesterday's close. Uh, and now I do see this potentially down to 108.35 zone, which is my next level of support down. D lines up with 108.60, so potentially we do get down there uh, and then maybe overrun. This one looks nice, looks nice for at least a first push down to, what's this next level down, 108.90. Okay, so we could see that, but I think that's quite a good break that we had yesterday, well, to, uh, yesterday in, in Dolly Yen. We could see that continue continue on down. So we had a, I had a trend line break in that one retest, and we've just sold off again. So this is definitely in the sell zone now in Dolly Yen. You have to play it on the short side. Um, the only thing I don't like about this is that we have, on the day we've broken the trend line, uh, and we just retest it, so that's just a retest now. Uh, so now this could be the point in which it bounces because we've broken on the short side on the 60 minute chart, but we've broken on the top side on the day. So just be wary of that. Um, in these situations, it's best just to have a look at the higher time frames. And they say that we have run through the 127 now, so I, do, I don't expect this to kind of take the highs out, and therefore I'm probably still looking for a short in Dolly N, uh, and therefore you've got to potentially be looking for that side. Okay, Dollar CAD. Dollar has just been grinding up. I think this finally will pro hopefully just have one square up, hit the one, hit 132. Uh, and once it's there, I do like this as a sell. The way that it's kind of gr grinded up suggests to me that when it hits that D and has a reason to sell off, it should sell off quite strongly. Uh, I've got 132 as a good level. My custom moving averages is around there as well. And being a 60-minute D as well, I'd certainly be looking to take a small short up there uh, and add to it on the way down. 132 certainly for me is, is a really good zone. Uh, so what what is it? What's it exactly? Yeah, 13202. So round number D. Uh, enough for me to take an initial one. Should Dollar Cad have a little push through up to that? But I'm not going to be touching it otherwise. Aussie, Aussie again in decision day yesterday. So it's just we're back down at the 127 again, uh, and the 118 on the day. So again, this is probably back in a buy zone for Aussie. I'd say I don't expect it to go straight through the lows here. Um, we are still holding on the 127 on the day, so I think this is still in the prime zone to be a buy. Um, and I don't see us going straight through the lows here, and I would be really surprised if we did. Um, actually, Euro Oz is at a perfect level of resistance as well. You're at the top of the range in Euro Oz, and I think because uh, Euro's potentially got some more downside, and Aussie, I do expect to hold here. I think Euro Oz could be a really good trade today. You're at the top of its range, uh, and potentially um, you've got the 
two other pairs matching up really nicely. So let's see if Aussie holds here, maybe have a little um, false breakout this morning uh, and then be looking to trade that back to 72.85, which I've got as a, as a good level of um, support. Well, obviously resistance now, but certainly a good level of support in the past. And we are down at the 118. So this has actually got for me before I, can, before I have to stop considering the, the long side. Um, this has got a little bit of a push down to 71.60 for me. And if we do get down to that 71.65 zone, then, then it's a golden golden trade back up again. So let's see if that happens. But certainly I do like Aussie at 71.60 as a buy uh, back up to, to the 38. So I think that's quite a good, good trading idea for today. And one that I'm going to be looking for again, seeing as we're back down at the lows. Kiwi. Kiwi just sold off yesterday. Uh, well, overnight by the looks of it, which is pretty annoying for a few of us here um, who have been looking to get short of Kiwi. Um, it just retested this trend line. It's sold off. So I think this does look... They obviously it was was it news overnight? Yeah, it was obviously 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 yeah obviously some sort of news overnight that kind of has caused this to to get an absolute uh, thumping overnight. But certainly this move is now probably extended. I've got 67 as a key level, so if I wanted to be in this short, then I have to wait for a pullback now. There's nowhere to put your stop without a continuation move. So maybe just a 15 minute pullback, uh, and then it goes again, dependent on the, the gravity of the news. But certainly the next level down for me is 66.75. So we've not actually got that much space, and I have got this as quite a good level as well. So we've taken out these on the top side now, so they're all out. So we've done two fibs back. We actually took the fib out on the short side too. So we haven't quite come back and hit the D. The D's down to 66.90, so that this move is nearly complete now, uh, and therefore there's nothing else I can really do about this one unless, unless I'm looking for a buy down at 66.90, which um, the way that this market's kind of sold off, I don't expect it to do that, uh, an initial quick bounce. Well, guys, okay, that's a quick round for today anyway. I um, hope that's been useful. As I said, click subscribe to never miss a video again. Please feel free to leave any comments you have uh, on the video below. And I'll be back tomorrow with another trading update. So good, good luck trading today, and I'll speak to you tomorrow. Thanks very much for listening.